I'm here at the Water Week because it's a great opportunity to share this experience with other countries who are facing the same challenges and see how we can boost the wash sector before the end of the 2030. The theme of this year's Stockholm World Water Week is about the seeds of innovation and innovation in water. And I think as I've been here listening to others, being inspired by other sessions, it's that theme of innovation and how can we use that innovation to solve the problems, not focus on, on the challenges. So I think that that has been really enriching. The knowledge and the technologies that we have are well, well established, but the actual design for small holders, for small scale systems is less evolved. Water in irrigation, uh, in agriculture is about 80% of the use of water. So it's a hugely important subject. So the Irrigation Handbook came together uh, over a couple of years and we look at the, the ways that different stakeholders can play their part. And we try to bring them together because it really is a collaboration required. One of the big contributions is really this collaborative work. So I am an economist, but the team includes a lot of different experts uh, from groundwater, but all the way to remote sensing. So we really try to be very systematic in the approach. This report called the Hidden Wealth of Nation really seeks to make the case of how critical groundwater is for climate adaptation, for development, really underpinning development. Youth have a very important role to play in this agenda because many of the decisions that we take today about the resource will actually have long-term impact and those youth will need to have a seat at the table for those decisions. You know, groundwater is here, is local. Governments should not be under the illusion that they are going to manage that water. We need to go back to some of the basics and get massive mobilization of young people, women's group, community-based organizations, indigenous people to really manage this. And the great news is that the World Bank today with many of you in the room, UN agencies, civil society organizations, women's groups, we are working with you around the world to establish community-based management of groundwater. We partnered with the CEW Women Diplomacy last year to launch the Male Champion Forum. And the objective of this forum is to use men in high positions who advocate uh, women in decision-making positions and also uh, provide a platform with other men to come together to talk about the issues uh, that perpetuate women's inequality in water resource management and to overcome those traditional norms that would bring women to the equal decision-making process. I always say the climate crisis is a social crisis because it is. The technical solutions exist. We're not curing cancer or, you know, going to another planet. We know what needs to happen. And it's usually the social aspects of, you know, I mean, political economy issues or, you know, uh, there's so many different social dimensions that don't get addressed. Here is where you meet and interact with different audience from the policymakers practitioners, to scientific communities, and also to activists. So in that interface, you actually see how a certain problem is seen by different people in a different way. It's good to hear some of the innovative solutions that are out there. There are things that we can do to move differently, to solve problems at scale.